everybody. Today for FT Learn, we're going to be talking about virtual field trips. So a virtual field trip is basically just a curated collection of artifacts for students to explore to learn about a topic in more detail. And there's lots of ways that we can find our own virtual field trips or create them. Today we're just going to focus on finding them, sharing them with students, and then assessing students' understanding of the content that they learned. For finding virtual field trips, we're going to focus on Google tools that you might use, including Google Expeditions, um, Google Earth, and Google Arts and Culture. We're also going to take a look at Discovery Education, which is a resource that the district provides. And we'll take a look at some other kind of lists of virtual field trips. Google Expeditions is an app that you can find on your iPad. And your students will have to have this downloaded for you to be able to share an expedition with them. Typically in class, what you might do is a teacher-led expedition, but in this case, students are gonna do a self-paced expedition. When you find an expedition for a virtual field trip that you would like for students to look at, for example, this Mount Everest one, you wanna to check to make sure that it's the VR. There are also AR for augmented reality. Some of those don't work as well um, because you don't get the full impact. So for our iPads, we want to focus on the virtual reality, but you can try the augmented reality to see if you can still get a good feel for what the, the tool is. So here, if I go to the Mount Everest one, I already have this downloaded to my iPad. Typically, you would download this to your iPad and it would come in. And the way that I'm going to share this with my students is I'm going to press the share button at the top and then email myself the link to my school email. Once you've emailed that to yourself, you can get on your computer and then share it on the platform that you think works best. When students open this then, it's gonna automatically open this app so that they can use it inside of here. And they will download it to their iPad and then they're just gonna view. And they get the 360 degree view along with some written explanation of what things are. And if they press on the different target areas, they get a little bit more of a um, feel for what's happening in the picture along with a written description. To see the next scene, they just scroll at the bottom and press to open the next scene. And that might be something that you have to demo for them in a quick video um, of yourself showing. So that's how you access Google Expeditions. Now, Expeditions has tons of different things that you can look for. You could sort by virtual reality, arts and culture, landscape, science, that sort of thing. And you can search for tours if there's a specific topic that you're looking for. When you find one, again, all you're going to do is you're going to open that and you're going to download to view the guide. Google Earth is a great place to find those virtual field trips that are really going to engage your students. To get to Google Earth, you will either need to download the Google Earth app on your iPad or you'll need to go to earth.google.com on your computer. You are going to launch Earth and this is going to open up a second tab where you're going to be able to browse Google Earth. Now to find the different things that you might use for a virtual field trip, you're going to click on the little pirate ship icon over here called Voyager. In Voyager, there's all kinds of different things that you might want to take a look at. Um, there are some editors pick, games, etc. We're going to take a look real quick at games. Under games, if you scroll down, there's plenty of different kinds of quizzes that are all related to geography in some way. Or there's a game for where on Google Earth is Carmen San Diego? This might be a fun way to get your students looking at Google Earth. As you open up this game, it kind of has an old school feel and you just press begin the chase. And then it will prompt you through with some directions and some questions so that you can use different features of geography to find where Carmen San Diego is. If I wanted to share this with my students, I'm gonna press the dot, dot, dot up in the corner for the more menu and choose share this story. It will share a link directly to where on Google Earth is Carmen Sandiego and I just press this copy and then I can put it into something like Seesaw or Schoology to share it with my students. Other Voyager features you might wanna check out would fall maybe under education. 
Here they have some curated things that would fall into geometry, history, science, and we even have reading the ABCs from space for basic letter recognition. If I open up this one, for example, it allows me to start exploring and on the right side, it gives me some extra details and I can just click through each of the letters. To share this voyage, I'm gonna do the same thing that I did with Carmen San Diego. I'm gonna press the dot, three dots up at the top, choose share this story, and then I can grab that link and share it on the platform that makes the most sense for my grade level. So in a nutshell, that's how we use Google Earth. Google Arts and Culture is another beautiful resource that you could just get lost in. To access it, you can either download the app to your tablet or on your computer, go to artsandculture.google.com. There's lots of different ways to explore from just exploring to using the search bar or checking out these collections that they have. If we scroll down, one of my favorites is the music and art um, combination. So if I look here at the musical tour of the Musée d'Orsay, for example, I'm going to press to open. To share this, I just press the share button at the top and copy the link to YouTube. Another way that I could share it is I could press this little share button right here and share the link this way. Just scrolling through the home page, you can find lots of different topics. You could find pop culture references like the story of Rip jeans. You can find seasonal stories for cherry blossoms, for example, lots on space exploration, and there's even some for science. To navigate through some of these cultural exhibitions, you're just going to use the arrow and you'll see a little write-up and some engaging imagery, along with videos. To share this, you're just going to press the share button and copy the link. You can even find the Cincinnati Art Museum on here. If you scroll down, you'll get a little information about the museum. You can see online stories and online exhibits for U.S. history, myths and heroes, different collections, and you can even check out a tour by clicking the little person. With this, you can just rotate around like you're in the Cincinnati Art Museum. Discovery Education is an app located inside ClassLink for both teachers and students. Scroll down just a bit and you'll see a block for virtual field trips. Click to open. When the virtual field trip page loads, you can sort by K-5, to 6-8, or 9-12 to 12, and browse through the available virtual field trips. The virtual field trips page is subdivided into different headings. You can look at student learning activities, popular ones, recently added, careers, earth and space, and so on. There's a lot of really good science-based and social studies-based field trips that you might decide to take with your students. So for example, if I was going to look at this Lincoln's Legacy one, I can see that there are five video segments with this field trip for a total of almost an hour of content. If I like this field trip, I can press the plus sign and add it to my quick list. And that's going to make it easier for me to assign to my students later. The internet is full of virtual field trip opportunities. Some of my favorite collections are featured on our FTNTI website right now, and you might even check out some of these from Common Sense Education by clicking the link, or 30 Picks Here from Mrs. Farney. For many of these lists, you might just click to open, and then to share the virtual field trip, you'll just copy and paste the URL. Sharing the virtual field trips with students can be just as simple as inserting a link into your favorite platform like Schoology or Seesaw, or you might insert the link into something a little larger, like an activity in one of those platforms. In Discovery Education, to share virtual field trips with your students, you'll need to develop a classroom. For Schoology users, check to see if the Discovery Ed integration works before doing this. To create a class from the Discovery Education homepage, you're going to choose Classrooms. Click on All Classrooms, Create Classroom, give it a name, Once you're in your class, you can go to School Roster and you can scroll through the list and add students or you can search for them by last name. Once you have a classroom created, you can go to your quick list, 
locate your field trip, press the dot dot dot, and assign it. Be sure to include a date, then you'll choose select your class, and press OK. This will allow your students to see it at the top of their Discovery Education when they enter. Now let's take a look at what that looks like for other virtual field trips. Now remember you're going to be pulling links either from the URL at the top or if you're inside of a place like Google Earth, you're going to press the dot dot dot, copy that link, or you might be copying from your email if you used Google Expeditions. Either way, you're going to pop in into Seesaw. So you just go to Seesaw, add, post for student work, link, paste that link in. Now for Seesaw, it'll put a little thumbnail in. If you're using Google Expeditions, it will look like it's QR code. That's okay. The kids are just going to open up the link at the bottom. So you assign that to all your students. Put it in a folder if you'd like it to go into a folder, and it uploads right to the feed where they'll press on the link to open it in their iPad. There are lots of ways that you might assess a student's participation in a virtual field trip. You might give them a general quiz about what they learned. You might have them fill in a graphic organizer as a document template. They might take screenshots of different things that they see along the way and create a reflective journal about it using something like Book Creator or PowerPoint. They also might create a pic collage of those images and just create a poster of something that they've learned. They may take those images and pop them into clips and do a voiceover of what they've learned. There are lots of different things that students can do to share what they've done. For Seesaw, if you shared a link to the virtual field trip, students could just add any sort of evidence that they've created to show what they've learned. They might upload a pic collage or a book creator book of reflections and images and drawings. Um, they might upload a clips video or you might keep it all together and do an activity. So for the activity, if I have this little snapshot Google slide, what I'm going to do is I'm going to download this as a JPEG, head on over to Seesaw and add an activity. And I'm going to go ahead and just create this. So I'm going to create a new activity with my template. This is going to be the virtual field trip. I would type instructions and make sure that I'm including those little shortcuts that have things like link and that sort of thing. So these are just very short directions right now. But what I'm going to do is add my multimedia instructions, which is just going to be a link to the field trip. Press my green check. Check again if I didn't want to add any kind of caption or um, additional voice recording. Um, and you might want to do that because students need to make sure that they have an app to view this. And then I'm going to add my template. So that's just going to be an upload. And I'm going to drag that in press the check, and then students will be able to make a little scrapbook almost where they add an image or draw a picture of something that they saw and something they thought about while viewing and something they learned. So we'll just press the check for that and then save that to the activities library. And then that's a way to just bundle the whole virtual field trip together inside of Cecil.